I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 631. My guess is that most geek briefers aren't naturally inclined to hide displays behind a piece of art. That is, of course, unless the whole hiding system could be reminiscent of something Bruce Wayne might own. That's exactly what I thought about when I saw this media decor eclipse art lift. Rather than mounting a TV on a wall, with this thing, the TV goes in the wall, and when you're not watching, a push of a button on the wall or a remote control will lower, raise, or move to one side a framed piece of art to cover the display. They come in a range of sizes to accommodate different displays. There's also an option where a piece of art on canvas rolls up and down to reveal and hide your display. Information is at MediaDecor.com. I would imagine you could also use the mechanism to hide something else like a wall safe. I was going to ask about that, but then I saw the cuddle bag and I really needed to jump into it. I've talked about Kaleidoscape many, many times on The Brief, but I've never seen the system in action. Kaleidoscape is a DVD management system. They rip DVDs you own, store them on a hard drive inside the Kaleidoscape console, and the software interface lets you call up the DVD you want to watch on demand. Demand. These guys are heroes because they're fighting the entertainment industry in court, arguing that consumers should have the right to keep a digital copy of a DVD on a hard drive just like we do with CDs. Okay, well, I've talked about Kaleidoscape many times on Geek Brief, but I've never seen the interface in action. Look at this. I'm ready to call this the coolest GUI I've ever tried. When Kaleidoscape is in cover view, all your DVD or CD covers show up on the screen like you'd expect. When you select a movie, all the covers will shuffle so they're surrounded by similar movies or singers. You can have it shuffled by genre, actor, singer, year, and the list of options goes on. Home automation is an awesome thing and I'm looking forward to the day every person who wants it can afford to control their media, phones, lights, security system, home appliances, climate control, and door locks from touchscreens around the house. Right now though, it's prohibitively expensive and DIY isn't an option if you want to use any of the best systems. Control 4 was showing off a new system that's within reach of more people than any other. It only costs $400 and it'll control a room's video, audio, lighting, security, thermostat, and door locks with a Control 4 remote control. The UI is displayed on an HD TV. Sweet and simple. The website where you can learn more is Control4.com. Gently raise your hand if you've heard about invisible speakers hidden in walls and been skeptical that they could sound anywhere close to great. My hand is up. At Cedia, though, we stopped by a booth where they were demoing exactly the very same invisible speakers I've doubted. They're made by Amina Technologies, and they're called the AIWX series of loudspeakers. Here's a sample of the audio I recorded with our Zoom H2. The idea was to build a speaker that works like a cello or acoustic guitar that resonates rich sound because of large vibrating soundboards. The vibrating panel surface of AIWX speakers is made of an absorbent paper skin that's ready to be treated with PVA adhesive and an application of a wet plaster finish that can be painted or wallpapered. Once painted, they entirely disappear into the surrounding drywall. Brief 631 was brought to you by Petco.com, where promo code BRIEF will save you 10% and provide free shipping on orders of $65 or more, and promo code BRIEF10 will save you 10% on any size order. I'm Callie Lewis. Thanks for watching. Bye. Geek free, fast credits. Yeah. It could be pronounced Amina. Goes on. Chazzy. <laughs> That's funky, right?